Sometimes you sneak attacking so good, you not even know you sneak attacking. Okay, see you. A, B, N. It's headphones, Neil! What's up guys, Headphones in here, back with another TV show review, and in this case is going to be the Netflix show, Kim's Convenience. So I had a chance to get through all five seasons, and thought I would do a quick review just because I want to say some of the things that did, that I did well, but then on the flip side didn't do as well. So it kind of, I think it kind of probably might be able to be solved if they had one more season or if they just do a Kim's Convenience movie to round out some of the um, lingering storylines but a lot of the controversy that it's had of late especially after the release of the fifth season I think deals not necessarily with the stereotypes that they did in the show but the lack of progression that they had in the various storylines so with that being said um, I'll start it off with the stuff that I found funny was the interactions between the characters in the various storylines. So, um, Appa and Amma with Janet, with Jung, with Kimchi, um, Jung and Kimchi with um, Shannon and the various employees at the car rental place, and all of that. So, overall, that all was good. But by the time you get to the, I want to say maybe the middle of the second season, it kind of starts feeling like they're not really going anywhere and that kind of um, is how it ends by the time you get to the end of the second season. So for me, the first five se episodes of the first season were okay, but by the time you get to the end of the first season, you're doing, you're thinking, okay, this show could go places, it ends okay, they've um, presented all the main characters and the various storylines, but then the second season doesn't really feel like it goes anywhere and not until the third and fourth seasons do they really does it really kind of pick up so for example um Amma doesn't really have a very important role in the show there's various scenes and stuff like that but doesn't nothing really happens with her until the third and fourth seasons so it kind of all it feels like the third and fourth seasons did really well but then with the fifth season being released during covid um you can tell like there's a lot of they're trying to get the characters together um janet's um crush lover guy the indian doctor dude kind of disappears in the fifth season um gerald has a role but then the storyline between him and janet possibly hooking up doesn't it kind of peters out um we have the progression of jung and shannon's relationship so they start dating and that all happens so um with all that being said, it feels like they could one more season might um, solve a lot of the issues. So whether they actually break or I guess Jung and Shannon actually break up because Jung doesn't really have much of a progression as far as his personality he still kind of has the, the pre high school kind of knowledge base, even though he is pretty smart and he's able to get his GED and get his business degree. So that all was good. Um, Kimchi was a good character and probably my favorite character aside from Uppa, but I think it, some of it kind of, if he felt kind of like he was, or his character felt like he was kind of trailing in what Jung's character was, so, um, for me, it, it kind of feels like in every season they were kind of doing him wrong in different ways, so with him, I kind of wanted more as far as um, maybe story progression because it at some point it looked like he was gonna get another job I guess just like Jung um, he becomes assistant manager like Jung and all of that so overall it feels like his character didn't quite get the development it needed even though his um, comic relief kind of worked well with Jung's and all the various characters and then he kind of started becoming the um, the i the i guess the character development for janet kind of like jung did so i don't know it just felt like the story lines were all over the place and then all, of all and then of course like with janet and the doctor guy their relationship and the marriage with the, of the indian guy with the 
arranged marriage and then um, her potentially hooking up with Gerald, was, especially when they have the apartment and then the, um, his girlfriend being a copycat of Janet. Um, so all of that was good, but it just felt like the storylines didn't really feel like they were going anywhere. So it's like they set up all these starting points for the different storylines, but then they never really went anywhere or they spent a se- couple of seasons trying to progress them. And then like at the end of season four, they bring up the story, uh, new story with um, Emma having multiple sclerosis, but in the fifth season, they barely bring it up. So they, so Janet finds out about it. So they have the support, a couple of um, points where they, where her and Emma and uh, Janet go to the support group and a couple of instances where they bring it up, but that's really about it. And then there was maybe one scene where it feels like Jung knew about it, but then he didn't. And then Emma being the way she is, didn't say anything. And then for the rest of the season, they didn't bring it up again. So it's like, it feels like, um, I mean, they did bring up the idea of the whole point that Koreans generally don't get multiple sclerosis, which I think that started to look like it was going to be a interesting point as far as that goes. But then they don't really bring it up or they don't really progress it beyond that. So in general, that's kind of an indication of the show as a whole is that they bring up these ideas, but then they don't pan them out or finish them in any way. And then they spend too much time progressing storylines in random ways and not really finishing them in any meaningful way. So um, I guess the cancellation kind of makes sense. And then the season finale for season five, as far as the lights turning off and all of that kind of worked for the ending of the show. But then it kind of feels like it leaves the viewer hanging because nothing was really resolved and it was kind of like what's the point of all of it just to have it was like okay we'll have all these characters in comedy but then no resolution to anything so for me i think they should have a movie to round out all the storylines make um finish up the idea of um jung and shannon either um make them completely um break up and then shannon goes back to alejandro and I don't know who Jung would go with, I guess, or maybe a whole high school fling, I guess. I, I don't know. I, I mean, I ideal kind of, ideally would kind of want them to uh, hook back up and get married just because of what happened. But um, there's that. And then um, Kim Chi and his girlfriend, the lady who stalks this, the car rental place would work out. Um, have Janet, I guess, hook up with Gerald because the whole thing in the fifth season with her exploring her sexuality was a, another point of that a good point to bring up as far as um bringing attention to the difficulties of being an lgbtq and i i'm sure i messed up some of those letters but um the idea that um sexuality is not as black and white as it used to be so um they bring up an I- that they brought up that idea but then they never really resolved it i mean they started to as far as how um parents of um, Asian communities regardless of which Asian country you belong to it's hard to bring it up and um, talk about it but it's one of those things where they brought it up and didn't really resolve it or take it anywhere I mean the girl that Janet kisses or starts to kiss I guess um, says that it was just supposed to be a little bit of fun like a one night stand kind of thing but then they, br- they, they brought it up in that episode and that's the last we hear of it so um, I mean I for me I guess because they spent a lot of the show trying to bring up Janet and Gerald kind of like they spent a lot of the show with uh, br- bring, um, kind of teasing Jung and Shannon it would be nice to see that resolution so Jung and Janet or um, Janet and Gerald get married, Jung and Shannon get married um, Kim Chi and the stock- stocking company girl get married um, and then Jung ends up taking over the convenience store and um, um, Janet starts her photography business um, I guess she could start a photography studio in the store or maybe store adjacent and um, kind of like a photo services kind of thing inside the store so if you want your photography taken it's kind of like a free promotion to keep it in the family um, 
And then she, and she could even set up a studio late somewhere else or even like in one of the rooms in their house above the store just to have that kind of free rent or something along those lines to have that going there. So I think that could all be resolved in a movie, but if they had, if they were to do um, one more season, whether it's ideas resol resolved by the cast of characters or the producers come back to have one more season, in any case, for me, that's one of those things that the show needs to, would need to do at this point is resolve all those storylines just to finish them up. Um, so if I was to give the show a grade, I would probably give it a grade of about maybe 80 to 85 percent. I saw a B minus to a B. So all the various um, characters were good. The comedy was good. I enjoyed watching it, but like I said, the whole second season felt like a waste just because there wasn't really anything that progressed enough until seasons three and four. And then the fifth one was also kind of a waste just because, I mean, not a waste, but because it was done in COVID, so it was hard to get everything, a lot of stuff going, but the cast is small enough where it doesn't, didn't really um, make a whole lot of issues or seem to make a whole lot of issues. So, um, what, I think one more season could resolve it, maybe two at the rate they progress stuff, but at least resolve all those various issues and get it taken care of, allow Amma and Apa to retire, and um, as far as the multiple sclerosis goes, I mean, it's a serious thing to talk about, so I think they should resolve that, whether they say that um, Jung, okay, he's going to take over the store and Apa and Amma retire so that she can relax a little bit and She's only there to help provide support um, as far as stocking and ideas and random things like that. But they both take a back burner so that they can go on their trip that they wanted to go on. Um, and things like that. So, like I said, about 80 to 85%, maybe one more season or a movie would take care of resolving all the loose ends just to tie everything up. But... Um, I think my favorite characters in the show obviously would be up by his way of doing things and approaching situations was good. His interactions with everybody was on point, especially with Amma and um, Kimchi, so I liked all of that. Um, and then his relationship with Jung, I liked that they generally got that resolved. Um, it's hard for everyone to um, have him come around to change his way of thinking, but I mean, in general, they kind of didn't they didn't necessarily resolve it but they, i like that he was coming around to forgiving what happened in the childhood so he saw that jung has fond memories of a lot of things even though a lot of bad things also happen so um take care of that and resolve that storyline as well so that's all there is for this particular review so if you have any questions comments feedback and things like that you can find me on twitter at patel n01 the website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all that good stuff. Um, as far as updates on upcoming content, bonus content, and things like that, you can find that on the Patreon at patreon.com slash patelin01. But that's all there is for this review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.